Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Super Easy A Int UI Goku. Now, that completely piqued my interest because we've already talked about a LR UI Goku in Evolution Blue Vegeta about a couple of days ago. So, I don't really want to repeat uh, yeah, like the same type of video. I'm pretty sure this card is going to be obviously pretty strong. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, send me custom cards over to VHF Custom Cards at gmail.com so you can get your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Uh, so let's see what Eden has for us. So, uh, Eden says, hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing good as well. Uh, and uh, he says, uh, made some more cards, uh, a LR and two super easy A's. Went into this with the mindset that super easy A characters can have changed transformation conditions. So there's that. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Let's just go straight into it. Eden, thank you for sending your card. All right. So super easy A. Int UI Goku, so leader skill, we're going to obviously skip over because it stays the same. And his new passive, that being Secret Sensation, two key and 180% attack and defense at the start of turn. And an additional 150% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Nice. And launches an additional super attack when there is a Roma Gods or Universal Swallow Saga Category Ally attack at the same turn. So very easy to get this to proc. Considering the fact that you could just throw AGL UI right next to this guy, he'll be sitting pretty because he'll be linking up. And he has a 60% chance to dodge, including super attacks, of course. And he has 60% damage reduction for 10 turns from character's entry turn. And he awakens when HP is 60% or less. And he also, of course, uh, I mean, this super attacks effect stays the same, obviously. Uh, so um, 60% chance to dodge plus 60% damage reduction. I mean... Come on now, what is what more is there not to love about that? As well as a attack and defensive buff from his passive to his stacking attack and defense super attack effect. I mean, that's that's good. Um, 150% attack and defense when performing super attack to his stack and attack and defense. Like I've already said, it's solid. As well as him starting out with two key and 180% attack and defense. Now, um, hmm. Okay, I'm interested. Now, this card doesn't have too many stats in its pre-transformation, right? So, how would this guy look in the first turn? Hmm. That I'd be interested to see. What, what like, defensive uh, number would he start out at? Because all he has is 180% attack and defense, as well as a 60% chance to dodge, as well as 60% damage reduction. Yeah, he's, he's good. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm overthinking it. <laughs> okay. So, his, uh, his little post-awakening, uh, right? Yeah, his post-awakening. Four key and 300%. Attack and defense at the start of turn. Very substantial attack and defensive buff. He also gets the 200% attack and defense performing a super attack. Crazy. Of course, a guaranteed super when you have a Realm of Gods or Universal Swell Saga Category Ally on the team. What? What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. In his pre-awakening, he gets one guaranteed super for you having a Realm of Gods or Universal Swell Saga Category Ally attack in the same turn. Just one. In his post-awakening, he gets... He launches a additional super when you have a Realm of Gods or Universal Swallow Side Category Ally on the team. And that's up to six additional supers. So, huh? So that counts for himself if, if that's... No, it's counting for the friend. It says ally. So he can get six guaranteed supers if you're running a full Universal Swallow Saga or Realm of Gods team? What the... Uh, what?! Okay, he also has a 80% chance to dodge, strong. He also gets 25% attack and defense, up to 250% each attack evaded, B just bust it, as well as disabling enemy guard, 60% damage reduction, just unrestricted, and he has guaranteed dodge for three turns after awakening. What the, yo, what the fuck? What? Of course, he's still stacking attack and defense. Oh, what? Okay. 300% attack and defense as well as 4 key at the start of turn. An attack and defensive buff from his passive to his super attack effect. Up to 6 plus supers. 80% chance to dodge. Builds up his attack and defensive buff very easy. Up to 250%. Crazy. 60% damage reduction and guaranteed dodge from the first 3 turns. What? What? There's no weakness to this card. There is zero weakness to his, his, uh, his awakening. Now granted, you could make the case that there is a weakness to his, his pre-awakening. Because if he gets hit by a super on the first turn, he could most likely die. Depending on what the boss is. Depending on the boss. 
But, br brother. Like, wh what? Why? What? Okay. Right. Um, I don't have much more to say. Um, that, that's it. Uh, thank you for sending your custom card and Eden. This is, this super easy ace, but damn this. You went crazy on this, this, uh, post awakening. Crazy. And you just kept it nice and simple on the pre awakening. I respect it. So, um, I have nothing to much more to say about this card. Uh, send me custom cards over to BHF custom cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all of these um, recent custom cards out the way. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just writing down his uh, cards after review for the live stream that's coming up possibly next month. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Peace.